Now we're going to work some examples on percentage problems. Um, what you have to pay attention to with percentage problems is what you're being asked to answer. Because in any percentage problem, you're going to have an original amount, a percentage amount, and a resulting amount. So you have to be careful about which um, answer you're giving as opposed, in relation to what you're being asked. For example, in this problem, a computer cost $500.00. We paid 30% in cash. How much was not paid in cash? So if you notice here, we're not being asked for the percentage. We're being asked how much was not paid in cash. So let's work the problem. $500 times 30% gives us $150. This amount represents what we paid in cash. We paid 30% in cash. So this amount represents what we were paid, what we paid for the computer in cash. But the question asks us how much was not paid in cash. So to get that answer, we'll need to take away from the original amount, which was $500, the amount that we paid in cash, which was $150. So that gives us our result for our answer of $350. And that's the amount that was not paid in cash. Here's another percentage example problem, and again, we need to pay attention to what we're being asked. A shirt sells for $75, but it is on sale for 10% off. What is the savings? Well, if the shirt sold for, regularly sold for $75, but we're going to get it for 10% off, if we do that math, then we have a result of $7.50. Now that is the amount that we saved. So we can stop right here. That's the answer to the question. Our savings is $750. Now if they ask us to give them how much we paid for the shirt, we would then need to say $75 minus the $7.50 in savings. And that result would be $67.50. But that is the amount that we would actually pay for the shirt. The $750 represents the amount of savings. And of course, the $75 is the original cost of the shirt. I have one more for you. And this one involves not a discount, but an increase. So I thought we should go over that. Your insurance premium is $200. And it is going to go up by 25%. What is the increase? Well, if our original amount is $200 and it's going to go up by 25%, that means that our increase is $50. And we can stop right there. Our increase is $50. Now, if they ask what is the resulting premium or what's our new premium going to be, then we would take the $200, we would add the increase of $50, and now we would know that we are going to have to pay $250 for our new insurance premium.